What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist coming to you with my three prize picks plays for today, courtesy of Odd Shopper. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell, especially if it's your first time joining us. Welcome. We have all great gambling content, great uh, things for you guys also in the props world, and that's what we're going to be covering here with our friends at Prize Picks. Use promo code AWESOMO. It's still promo code AWESOMO despite the name change to Stochastic right now, so take advantage of that to get $100 first match deposit bonus as well as one free month of Stochastic Plus. Uh, you're going to want to take advantage of that. Great tools and content that have helped inform my MLB decisions today, and I think they can help inform yours as well. But let's get to it, shall we? We're going to start here in the strikeouts category, and I'm looking at one Max Freed here. We want to go the over of five and a half. Max Freed against San Francisco, they are definitely a potent offense against lefties and righties. Against lefties specifically, Max Freed's handedness, a 181 ISO, 729 OPS, and a 107 WRC+. plus. Those are great numbers, but they still strike out at a 23.5% clip. That is top 10 worst in baseball. That's eighth on the list that we're looking at here. I, I just find Max Freed to be way undervalued here at five and a half strikeouts. If you head to Odd Shopper, which is the best place you can possibly go, uh, oddshopper.com to find the best MLB bets on the board. Max Freed projected north of six and a half strikeouts over there, a 67% win percentage on this line. Plus, if you just look at sports books, the over on five and a half is juiced, minus 125 to minus 135. We're talking about him being a favorite in that department. Just cross-referencing odds, coming over here to Odd Shopper and being able to find what they are at sportsbooks and being able to use them on prize picks to find uh, advantageous lines. That's the way that you want to do it. So Max Freed, that is my first play of the day over a five and a half strikeouts. Now my second and third plays, they're going to be paired together. If it's your first time checking out these videos, it is something that I find to be very advantageous when a spot really sticks out. So I'm going to put both of them together here, wrap them with a bow. You know, it's going to be something, whatever. It's a present. That's what I'm getting at. But we're looking at Toronto, and I love Guerrero, Springer, Chapman. One of those three to go yard, and specifically looking at Guerrero to, as the best hitter of the trio, over one and a half total bases. Eight fantasy score is something that you can maybe utilize. Springer, you're only allowed to use one, one of the batters to pair with it. This isn't too bad of a line, seven for the projected hitter score, but I prefer Vlad the best hitter, uh, you know, long-term that you could possibly imagine in baseball. But Vlad, Springer, and Chapman, they get a date with Lance Lynn in this spot. And the man, let's just say he's going to be struggling here for the foreseeable future. We're talking last year. He was fantastic. For the last couple of years, he's been fan fantastic. A 2.72 expected ERA, a 319x Woba con, 256x Woba. These are good, elite numbers from a starting pitcher. But Lance Lynn got tuned up in AAA. Then he faces Detroit, his first outing of the season last week. He ends up giving up a lot of contact. We're talking 10 hits. We're talking a homer in this spot. And the velocity on his fastball is down a mile and a half. And that was kind of the main thing I was looking to pay attention to, was to see exactly what that pitch mix looked like and what his velocity was at. And everything is down across the board, except for his changeup, which he throws the least amount of time. So we're talking a mile and a half. That is a noticeable difference against an offense far more potent than the Detroit Tigers, which is the offense he faced to begin with. That makes Vlad, Springer, and Chapman my three favorite home run plays on the board. So I'm looking at these as the main pairing. And Vlad Guerrero, over one and a half total bases, minus money, Lance Lynn. We're talking Toronto being such an advantageous stack to get to a DFS for those purposes and for prize picks as well. So those are my three plays for today. We're going Max Freed over five and a half total strikeouts. Over 0.5 home runs for Guerrero, Springer, and Chapman against Lance Lynn. And Vladimir Guerrero pairing it over one and a half total bases. Let me know what you think of my plays below. Let me know if there's anything else you've got your eye on for prize picks purposes today. But no matter what, use promo code AWESOMO if it's your first time playing over there. Get that free $100. That is the best thing you can do for yourself today, as well as that one free month of Stochastic Plus. I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the MLB streets tonight.